Hello and welcome to Ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Praknevsky, and today's tip of the day is two comp vector. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so for this example, I have just a simple setup here, my Ukramedia logo and this logo background. Basically, it's just a shape, the shape of the logo, but without the UM in it. And also I have the background, so nothing too crazy. And I'm going to select this vector logo and the logo background and just make them 3D. And I'll make this logo background not visible at the moment and select this one, hit R to reveal the rotation property. And so here's what I'm trying to do. So once I rotate this logo past its middle point like this, I want it to disappear. And if it goes back to where it was, then I want it to appear. In other words, I only want to see the front face. You know, the same thing applies for the x-axis. So how do I make that happen using just a simple expression? So here's where two comp vector comes in handy. So I'm going to select this logo and hit Shift T on my keyboard to reveal the opacity. And Alt left click on the stopwatch here to activate the expression. And inside here we're going to type our expression. So we're going to type two comp vector and open and close parentheses. And basically what two comp vector does it converts the vector from the layer space to the camera view space. So inside here, we're going to type, uh, let's do open square bracket, close square brackets. And uh, I'm going to say, so I'm going to put 0 for x, 0 for y, and 1 for z. And basically, we're determining like a direction. So 1, uh, z will be facing towards me like a... I'm grabbing one because positive would be facing towards me, negative one would be facing away. So now I want to grab this number. I'm going to do uh, open square brackets, close square brackets, and inside there I'm going to type uh, which index. So basically index uh, counts from 0, 1, 2. So I want this number in here, so I'm going to call it in here. So I'm going to say 0, 1, 2, so that's going to be index 2. And I know it probably doesn't make sense what I'm doing here, but just bear with me. <laughs> All right, so if I let go, here's what happens. So it it's at 100 because it's staring at us. But if I rotate the logo to the left like so, it disappears because now the vector is pointing away and then it's not 100. So if I go back, it's 100. The same thing for the x-axis. So you can see how handy this can be. But let's take it a bit further. So I'm going to select this expression, do Control c to copy it. And then um, I'm going to select this logo background. So right now, you can see it's just a plain shape, nothing crazy. But I'm going to hit T and uh, Alt click, left click on the stopwatch here to activate the expression. Control V to paste the exact same expression we applied for this layer. Uh, if I hit select this and hit R, Shift R to reveal the rotation properties. Now I can basically see the exact same thing happening to this layer in here. So, but here's what I want. I want for it to do the opposite. So I don't want it to be visible until you know it crosses that middle point. So here's what I need to do. So now I'm going to change direction. So instead of 1, I'm going to set it to negative 1. So now if I let go, see that it's not visible, and then it's visible. The reason why this is handy, because now if I go back to where we were, and if I just select this, uh, this shape layer and then parent it to my logo, and select this logo and hit R to re reveal the rotation. So here's what happens. So now if I move this logo like so, and if it goes past the middle point, instead of disappearing, it's going to bring this logo background into our visibility here. That can be like a interesting effect, like a fake two, uh, two faces kind of 3D look. So that can come in very handy. And the same thing applies here as well. So basically, if it's not pointing towards you, you're not going to see it. But if it is, you will see it. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I hope you found it useful. If you would like the project file of this tutorial, you can download it at ukramedia.com. I'll make sure to include the link underneath this video. And also, be sure to like this video, share it. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.